Welcome to an example on how to use the variation of parameters method to solve a linear second order non-homogeneous differential equation. So if we have a differential equation that fits this form here, where g of x is non-zero, and p, q, and g are continuous on an open interval, and y sub one and y sub two are linearly independent solutions to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, then a particular solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation is given by big Y sub P and this formula here. And therefore we can use Y sub one, Y sub two, and big Y sub P to form the general solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation as we see here given by Y of X. Now we should also notice that the sum of these first two terms here, which would be the general solution to the homogeneous differential equation, is often also called the complementary function, or y sub c. So to apply the method of variation of parameters, we'll take three steps. Number one, we will solve the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, which will give us y sub c, or the first two terms of the general solution, and then we'll use the formula given here to find big y sub p, which we did derive in a previous lesson, and then we'll use the results of one and two to form the general solution in this form here. Let's take a look at our example. The first thing we should notice is that we do have a linear second order non-homogeneous differential equation. So to apply the method of variation of parameters, step one is to solve the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, which should be y double prime minus y prime minus two y equals zero. Notice in this case, the function on the right, g of x is equal to e raised to the power of three x. Now because we have constant coefficients here, we can solve this using a characteristic equation where a is equal to one, b is equal to negative one, and c is equal to negative two, giving us the characteristic equation r squared minus r minus two equals zero. We can solve this by factoring We have r and r. The factors of negative two that add to negative one would be negative two and positive one. So the characteristic equation has two real distinct zeros. We have r equals two or r equals negative one. Remember the nature of these solutions will affect the form of the general solution to the homogeneous differential equation or the complementary function, again given here by y of c because we have two distinct real zeros to the characteristic equation. So now we know that y sub c is equal to c sub one times e raised to the power of two x plus c sub two times e raised to the power of negative one x or just negative x. So notice that y sub one is equal to e to the power of two x and y sub two is equal to e to the power of negative x. Now for the next step, or step two, we'll find big Y sub p using this formula here. Let's begin by finding the Ronskian of Y sub one and Y sub two. So we'll have a two by two determinant where the first row is Y sub one and Y sub two. So we'll have e to the two x and e to the negative x. The second row will be the first derivatives. The derivative of e to the two x would be e to the two x times two, or two e to the two x. The derivative of e to the negative x would be e to the negative x times negative one, or negative e to the negative x. So now we'll have this product minus this product when multiplying the bases are the same, we add the exponents. So this first product would be negative e to the power of two x plus negative x, which would just be x, and then minus this product, which would be two e to the power of x, giving us negative three e to the x, which means big Y sub p is gonna be equal to negative Y sub one or negative e to the two x times the integral of y sub two times g of x, 
y sub two is e to the negative x here times g of x, which is e to the three x, divided by the Ronskian, which is negative three e to the x dx. And we have plus y sub two. Y sub two is e to the negative x times the integral of y sub one times g of x. Y sub one is e to the two x. G of x is e to the three x divided by negative three e to the e x. Now before we integrate, let's simplify. Looking at this first part, notice how we have two negatives that make a positive. Let's also factor out the one third. That would give us e to the two x divided by three. And if we integrate, if we multiply the numerator, that would be e to the two x, adding the exponents. e to the two x divided by e to the x, we subtract the exponents, giving us just e to the x. Next we have a sum, but then we have a negative here, so it's going to be minus e to the negative x. Let's factor out the one third. Then we have the integral of the numerator would be e to the five x divided by e to the x, that would be e to the four x dx. So now we have big Y sub P is equal to, the integral of e to the x is just e to the x, so we'd have one third e to the two x times e to the x, that'd be e to the three x. Then we have minus e to the negative x divided by three times this integral. Notice how this does require u substitution, where u would be equal to four x, u is equal to four dx, so dx is equal to one-fourth du, so this integral would be one-fourth times e to the four x. Let's go ahead and simplify this. We have one-third e to the three x. Now here we'll have minus one-twelfth, but then we multiply the exponentials and add the exponent, we get another e to the three x. So these are like terms, so big Y sub p would be equal to one third is equal to four twelfths. Four twelfths minus one twelfths is three twelfths, and three twelfths is one fourth. So we have one fourth e to the power of three x. So finally, now that we have y sub c and big Y sub p, we can form the general solution to the original non-homogeneous differential equation. To do this, we'll use this form here where the general solution y of x is equal to y sub c plus big Y sub p. Let's finish this on the next slide. The general solution y of x is equal to y sub c, c sub one e to the two x plus c sub two e to the negative x plus big Y sub p or plus one fourth e to the power of three x. This would be the general solution to our non-homogeneous differential equation using the method of variation of parameters. I hope you found this helpful.